Hi, Charlotte and Sylvie. I have another book for you that I'd like to read. It's called The Paper Crane. The Paper Crane. A man once owned a restaurant on a busy road. He loved to cook good food, and he loved to serve it. He worked from morning until night, and he was happy. But a new highway was being built close by. Travelers drove straight from one place to another and no longer stopped at the restaurant. Many days went by when no guests came at all. The man became very poor and he had nothing to do but dust and polish his empty plates and tables. One evening, a stranger came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual, gentle manner. Though he said he had no money to pay for food, the owner invited him to sit down. He cooked the best meal he could make and served him like a king. When the stranger had finished, he said to his host, I cannot pay you with money, but I would like to thank you in my own way. He picked up a paper napkin from the table and folded it into the shape of a crane. You have only one to clap your hands, he said, and this bird will come to life and dance for you. Take it and enjoy it while it is with you. With those words, the stranger left. It happened just as the stranger said. The owner had only to clap his hands and the paper crane became a living bird, flew down to the floor and danced. Soon the word of the dancing crane spread and people came from far and near to see the magic bird perform. The owner was happy again, and for his restaurant was always full of guests. He cooked and served and had company from morning till night. The weeks passed and the months. One evening, a man came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual, gentle manner. The owner knew him at once and was overjoyed. The stranger, however, said nothing. He took a flute from his pocket and raised it to his lips and began to play. The crane flew down from its place on the shelf and danced as it had never danced before. The stranger finished playing, lowered the flute from his lips and returned returned it to his pocket. He climbed on the back of the crane and they flew out the door and away. The restaurant still stands by the side of the road and the guests still come to eat the good food and hear the story of the gentle stranger and the magic crane made from a paper napkin. But neither the stranger nor the dancing crane has ever been seen again. The end. The paper crane. See you later, Charlotte and Sylvie. I love you. Bye-bye.